Hi, I'm Alyssa and um, my service result philosophy is being able to provide not only a service but an experience to people and making it as memorable and enjoyable for the guest as possible. Um, a way that I think that this can happen is um, fulfilling any request that the guest may have as long as it um, aligns with the company standards and by that I mean like sometimes a guest can have a bit of an unreasonable request or maybe a little um, outlandish or ridiculous but as long as it aligns with anything that you could do for them I say go for it um, an example of this is um, I work at Chick-fil-a and despite like all of the things that we have behind the company and how good we are and how much we love our guests and all that it's all true but we're still a company that is going to require a transaction number or a receipt when you're going to need um, when you're missing food or you need something replaced just because um, there are a lot of scammers out there sadly and people like to take advantage of us so just as long as you can fulfill that request upon company standards and making that experience as memorable and happy for them as you possibly can. Um, for my top five principles, my first one I have is being an active listener. And my view of being an active listener is not only um, like nodding and making eye contact, but also repeating things back that they are saying to you so that you they make that connection that, oh, she actually is listening to me because she just said what I said to her along with having a piece of paper and a pen in front of me. Now, a lot of people might say that that takes away from like the whole active listening thing, but I think that if I'm writing things down and like show and like not only looking at the paper, but like writing it down and looking up at them, then they know that I'm writing things down that are important outtakes from what they're telling me so that I can fix that for them and make their experience even better than it might be as of now. For my second principle, I have individualization. By individualization, I mean creating that personal experience and making it as personal for each guest as possible so that they feel important and they feel heard and understood and that they t they come back later because they just loved how they were treated. Um, how restaurants can do this is by um, learning the guest's name at the tables and instead of just like walk walking by with a pitcher of water, filling it up and leaving, like, oh, hi, Katie, how's your meal? Can I fill up your water for you? You know, things like that. Um, just interacting with them in any little personal way that's possible, um, along with hotels, especially if, if you have like a guest or family that's staying for a week or an extended period of time, you can get to know their name and be like, oh, hi, like, like, welcome back. I hope you had a great day when they're coming in or when they're leaving. You can be like, um, have safe travels. I hope you have so much fun and we can't wait to see you when you get back. Just things like that really make it personal because when you're greeting them by name and telling them that stuff, that means that they feel like you care and you want them there. My third one is being or having good leadership. I say being or having because not everyone is necessarily in a leadership position, but still works really hard toward that. So a way that you could be a good leader um, is like at a restaurant, like walking around, like being at the hostess station, greeting people in, checking on people's meals, how you can make it better, how you can make their day better, how their day is going, what they did for that day, making that um, personal connection with them. And then also the same at hotels, walking around the lobby, seeing how people are doing, how their drinks at the bar are, how their stay has been. When you interact with your people like that, then your employees are gonna wanna interact with your people like that. And then that is just gonna make the experience like five-star top bar and people are gonna wanna come back and are gonna rave about you all the time. And then my fourth one is information and safety. And by information and safety, I mean people are going to want to walk into your hotel or your restaurant. They're going to want to know um, nightlife, clubs, bars, things they can do with their family, things they can do with their significant other, really good restaurants that you have, really cool um, like maybe like landmarks or stuff that they could visit. And then also um, what's the safety after dark? Um, how are the police stations around here? How is um, like the doors in your, into your hotel after dark? A lot of the, like there's a lot of hotels now that will only have certain doors that you can get into with a room key like after like 8 p.m. when it starts getting dark. So that kind of stuff is really gonna make them feel safe and also let them know where to go and have even more fun while the, while they're on their stay. And then five is a fond farewell. This um, is super important because it's going to be like the icing on top of the cake as they're leaving. They might've had a good experience. They might've had a bad one, but if you are there 
at checkout and you were asking how their stay was, how their week was, what they did, what their favorite part of the trip was, what their least favorite part of the trip was, um, if they're sad or excited to go home, if they're excited to come back, that you're ready for them to come back even though they're not gone yet, just really interacting and saying how sad you are that they're leaving, you can't wait for them to come back is really going to build that connection and it's going to once again lead to raving and loyal guests that we are always wanting and love to see. And just those principles are why that those principles are just so important to me and making sure that guests are always happy and wanting to come back because why wouldn't you want why wouldn't you want them to come back and see their beautiful faces again